Well, after about an hour, I finally got my angles the way I wanted them. And now that I have one with the angle on both ends, I'm able to lay it on and hand saw using one as a guide to hand saw the other one off. So that's what I'm doing. Once I get the one angle on, then I can get a measurement to see from tip to tip what it's supposed to be. And then that tells me where to cut the last, the other side. So right now, this is my template piece, but eventually I'm gonna use it. So I need to make sure I have all my angles on before I use this one up. Um, this one's ready to go on. So we're gonna take it over there and nail it on. What I did to make it a little easier this time is I put a little nailer in here, just a scrap piece of wood, partially nailed in. And that way, when I mark it, I have a mark there. And then I mark this end. I can set this end on to where it's supposed to be, go up there, and then put it on that mark. Now, if it's not perfect, as long as they're parallel, I don't care if they're exactly 16 inch apart. And normally you'd put them up 16 inch on center. But in this case, it doesn't matter because I'm nailing on roof boards, hemlock roof boards anyway. So, so what if one's 17 or, or 16 and a half? The main thing is that they're parallel coming down through. That's the main thing. So that when you look at them, they look nice. As far as equal distance, it's not really that critical in this situation. Okay, so let's put another one on. Maybe have time to cut one more and then I have to get going to my other job. Okay.